It is mm, okay. factually untrue. Let's look at Georgia as Why a- Why am I not surprised example. that you're saying I that? remember that when this panel, my esteemed colleagues were saying how Georgia voting policies are going to be Jim Crow 2.0. You had President Biden say that. You had Stacey stolen election Abrams say that. And now all of a sudden you have record numbers in Georgia. More people have voted in the early returns than they did in 2018 before the laws were changed. Jim Crow 2.0 is not a real thing. Also, we talk about the policies of Georgia, quote unquote, disenfranchising black people. They've had Republican leadership, Republican governors that have allowed Atlanta to soar as a city with black owned businesses. And what did the Democrats do? Democrats oh, called on people to get out of Georgia, called on people to, <laughs> to ban going to Georgia and Atlanta for any business opportunity opportunities, putting black businesses out of work. But yet, just because you are black and because you are a Republican, you're quote unquote white supremacist. But if you vote for Democrats who say that the election was stolen, do you vote for no, Democrats? We're not, see how he did that? We're not the ones saying on the election was stolen. Sudden, you're not Newsflash, right OJ, don't people. try to pull a Trump Jedi mind trick on us. We're not the ones telling the big lie. That would be you. And the Stacey issue Abrams about Jim Crow 2.0, we'll see how the election world. plays out because that's election denial. That's overturning of free and fair elections. That's packing of of these agencies and positions that decide whether or not we accept election results. And we were going to have to wait till November 9th for that. Hillary Clinton said the election was stolen in 2016. The turnout that you're talking about is accountability. Hold that thought, Dr. Oleka. Hold that thought, Dr. Oleka. Go ahead, Ed. Yeah, the, you know, the turnout that you're talking about is really built on accountability. Uh, I mean, you referenced Stacey Abrams, but let's not forget the organization she founded actually had to sue the Republican standard bearer in Georgia around the number of people. And I think it was something, what, north of 30,000 votes that he summarily uh, uh, registered voters that he summarily tossed off the rolls last time. Uh, the standard bearer of the Republican Party in Georgia has, has repeatedly tried to disenfranchise African-American voters in the state for his own political gain. And despite that, despite that, the Democrats have been able to elect two U.S. senators and expect to elect the governor this time. And this is what James Baldwin was talking about when he said, I'm not your Negro, but apparently uh, Herschel Walker is.